Hello everyone, how are you today? Today's lesson is about area of composite figures. First, before we start, we have a new vocabulary word, composite figure. What is a composite figure? A composite figure is made up of two or more figures. So, it has one it, it's one block, but it's not only a rectangle. No, it has more than two figures so to find the area of a composite figure we will need to decompose the figure into smaller parts so we can decompose it into different rectangles and we start calculating the area open page 797 and let's go through example number one together shrubs trees flowers and plants can be bought at mr corley's nursery what is the area of the nursery's garden at the right? Here we have a, the garden. Is it one rectangle? No, this is a composite figure. Why is it a composite figure? Because it's made up of two or more figures. Because it's a composite figure, we will start by breaking the figure into smaller parts. Now, look for rectangles let's look for a rectangle here this length stops here and so if we go up 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 oh here we decompose the figure into two rectangles this is rectangle a let's put a for it and let's use another color this is rectangle b now let's find the area of each part rectangle one or rectangle a has a length of 10 yards and a width of 8 yards so 10 multiplied by 8 is 80 rectangle b or rectangle 2 has a length of 12 yards and a width of 8 yards so we will decompose this one because it has a big number we will decompose the 12 into 10 and 2 8 multiplied by 10 80 plus 2 multiplied by 8 16 80 plus 16 is 96 so the area of rectangle 1 is 80 square yards and the area of rectangle 2 is 96 square yards. Our final step is to find the area of the nursery's garden. So we found the area of the first rectangle and the area of the second rectangle. Now we will add both areas so we can find the total area of the garden. 80 plus 96 is... 176 so the area of the composite figure this composite figure the area is 176 square yards turn the page and let's do another example together find the area of the composite figure again here we have a composite figure look when we put the dotted lines we bro broke this composite figure into how many parts? Yes, into three parts. This composite figure can be broken into three rectangles. Now, we will take a look at each rectangle and find the area of each rectangle. So, let's write the length of and the width of each rectangle. Rectangle number one, rectangle number two, rectangle number three. In rectangle number one, we know that the length is 12 meters. and But we do not know the width. This is the width of the rectangle. We don't know it. We know that this whole side is 10 meters. But we know that the length of rectangle number two is 8 meters. So... 10 minus 8 is 
two meters. So the length, the the width of the the rectangle number one is two meters. Now the last two rectangles, rectangle number two and three, we know that the length is eight and the width is three. Now moving to the second step, which is finding the area of each part. We said that the rectangle number one has a length of 12 and a width of two. Again, let's decompose the 12 to make it easier for us to calculate. 12 will be decomposed into 10 and two. 10 multiplied by two, 20. Plus two multiplied by two, four. So 20 plus four is 24 square meters. So that's the area of the first rectangle. Now, the area of rectangles two and three, why are we calculating it one time? Because both of them have the same length and the same width, so they will have the same area. So, what is eight multiplied by three? Yes, it's also 24 square meters. So now we know the area of our three rectangles. Let's find the area of the composite figure. 24 rectangle 1 plus 24 rectangle 2 plus 24 rectangle 3. 24 plus 24 plus 24 is? Yes, 72. And you can always use the vertical adding to find the answer. Okay? Now, the area of the composite figure is 72 square meters. Let's go through the guided practice together. Find the area of the composite figure. Show your work. What does show your work mean? It means we need to, when we separate the composite figure, when we decompose the composite figure, we have to show what did we use. So here, I have my first rectangle and here I have my second rectangle. Now let's find the length and width of each rectangle. Here we know that the length is 5 and the width is 4. Here we know that the length is 3 but we do not know the width but we know that this whole side has a length of 7 centimeters. So again, 7 minus the missing part, which is 4, is 7 minus 4 equals 3. So this part, the red part, is 3 centimeters. Now we know the length and width of each rectangle. Let's calculate the areas. We will call again this one rectangle A or rectangle 1 and this one is rectangle 2. Let's find the area of rectangle 1. Five multiplied by four equals 20. Rectangle 2. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. So we will add them together. 20 plus 9 equals 29. So the area of this composite figure is 29 square meters. Let's move to page 799. I'll be doing with you questions 2 and 4 and you have to do the rest of the page by yourself and send it to me of course on class dojo. Let's go through first number 2. Find the area of each composite figure. Show your work. Remember, you have to always show your work. What which how did you separate your composite figure? How did you decompose? How did you find each area? Now, so we will we will decompose this figure. Here we have rectangle 1 and rectangle 2. Let's find the area of each part. Let's take a look here. Rectangle 1 
has a length of 10 multiplied by a width of 4, which is 40. Rectangle 2 has a length of 9 and a width of 8, which is 72. Now, to find the area of the composite figure, we will add the two areas of rectangle 1 and rectangle 2. 40 plus 72 equals, yes, 112. So the area is 112 square feet. Moving to number 4, again, we need to find the area of the composite figure and also show our work. Here... We have, we will separate the composite figure. So we have two rectangles. Again, rectangle 1 and rectangle 2. We know that rectangle 1 has a length of 6 and a width of 3. What about rectangle number 2? We know that this part is 2 feet. And this whole part is 3 feet. So this tiny part is what? 3 minus 2 is 1. So here the width is 1 feet. What about the length of rectangle number 2? We know that this part here, it's 6 feet. And this part, this whole area... This whole side is 9 feet. So again, 9 minus 6 is 3. So the width, the length is 3 feet. Now we found out the length and width of each rectangle. Let's calculate the area of each rectangle. Rectangle 1, 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 rectangle 2 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 now let's add both areas together 18 plus 3 equals 21 square feet now go finish the rest of the page questions 3, 5, and 6 and don't forget to send it to me on class dojo and don't forget to solve the Kahoot.